I love in the cocktail party when she said for the first time. That's what she said. She had just made out with Michael in the in the bathroom at the cocktail party. He writes her like a love note and tells her he loves her and and she's just sort of like, I no, I can't even imagine being with Michael. But you know, <laughs> but she's just made out with him. Or it's just so ridiculous. The first kiss in the Chili's parking lot was ridiculous and surprising, and I think to everybody, <laughs> even to me. <laughs> Let's go. What? Steve's great, but it was, it was the characters and the way the characters' dynamic was just so push-pull and so kind of this rub that was like awful but so pleasurable, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that just sort of made you want them to hook up. It just made you want it. In the dinner party episode, definitely throwing the Dundee at the mini television is hilarious and breaking it. I would like to just say that I hit that small television every single time and all the guys on the crew were so impressed with me. <laughs> I also liked in that episode the very inappropriate dancing to Hunter's song. Matt, do you guys remember my old assistant Hunter? And like John Krasinski like going under his arm and it was just so, so completely inappropriate and great and off. And I'm a dancer, so it was particularly fun for me to try to like dance really badly, like a little bit off the beat and not quite in the rhythm, but like completely turned on by this, <laughs> by this ridiculous song by this, you know, 20 year old guy. I guess my last one would be when she comes back with a huge boob job in order to get Michael back again. <laughs> Oh, it's so stupid. And the breastfeeding, the breastfeeding, like, and singing the song, you know. There's so many good ones, so many good ones. <laughs>